three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a st Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter?
Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. Hey, I got an idea. How about we find some backwater world and go off-grid for a while? Novacore ain't gonna chase us forever. It worked for me in the past. <laughs> Quill? Backwater worlds are like his natural environment. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Hey, I heard that. I am good. Ugh, you're right. Drax wouldn't hide from the cops. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. A hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Keep hiking, Tram. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Your space lady help in this range head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender. <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, keep her live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship! 
okay? We should have gone to Mach before. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Bit. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary creatures here are not her pets food. they sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going there's a trail going through the jungle try to find a way up no trails shoot stuff words to live by this husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm trying to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark, that don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. If you see anything... I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing? There's further proof that we're not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted. You get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly.
I am eager to experience Lady Helvetia's legendary menagerie. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me... We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking gods! How will we cross? Look, face Look around, we'll find another way. Trying to huck me up. Not a chance. We're over here. I did not approve. Only just the world stops you. There should be no trouble. I'm watching you. You can tap me in psychopath. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller and egg root. Statues are not watching us. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rocks. Shooting your way out of every problem, I do. planet. Right. What's Chitauri tech doing on a backwater mud? Perhaps Lady Help has been killed in the state of the Just among the spoils. You do know that aimless shooting isn't going to scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pet dog. Great place to leave a stop. Wait, you hear that? Rise up, people. Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster face! Everyone get ready! Rip with a new one! Let's see that sword! It says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. 
Gamora mind cutting us a path? Say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being fruit of the merchandise. Only one of you is the... Just go. No, you just someone go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing me, assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. Yep, definitely saw the giant head. <laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Clark. We are not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. But that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Mora, you know your ships. What about that loose unit up there? It's... Covered in fungus. We probably could knock it off, but not from down here. Also, I I'm not the one with the gun. Guys, the creature we fought is still out there. If you want to shoot that thing down, you're going to need a better angle. She is right. Your shooting is terrible. My shooting is not terrible. Then why is your target not falling? You need a better angle, apparently. All right. I'm pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow, it is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. <sighs> Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! 
is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. Some more stuff for me, Drax. Here's good. I am on my way. Next, Peter Quill. Treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoy tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just, could you, just, please look let those me, alone. Let me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Damn it, Gordon. Some kind of morphing animal. Sorcery. Here we go again. We're close, but 
but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetary. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine! Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. <laughs> that is not a happy monster. Well, at least... Come oh, on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to learn. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the floor? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as stud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really monster gotta food? Your taste, the cage! You get it? We need the cage. 
We go into that fortress with our with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. And now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see any easy way to get up. Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, Go? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well. Better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but... Let's just get this done. 